And uh, now I would like to invite uh, the next uh, presenter, uh, Irina uh, Kazakova, uh, our uh, last year uh, PDC student who has progressed quite a lot uh, since then, and he, she implemented a lot of uh, nice projects. <laughs> so, and I'm very happy that she will be teaching with universities. So please, Ira, go ahead. Thank you. Um, so hello, <laughs> nice to meet you here. So uh, firstly, I had to present uh, two or even three uh, disciplines, uh, such as environmental justice and decision making, or uh, assessment of ecosystem functions in urban environments uh, and economy of, of land degradation, and so on and so on. But in the end. Uh, all of them uh, were combined in a single united program. Um, so, until recently, the prospect of teaching permaculture in the universities seemed incredible and almost impossible because stereotypes are um, present in all the areas. Um, as traditional agriculture, uh, as well as education, teaching. Uh, but it is said, let's think the unthinkable, let's do the enjoyable, and uh, that is why we are all here today. And a brief, uh, brief over overview of my presentation, it will consist of two parts. So the first is uh, about um, economical fundamentals of uh, permaculture, and the second will be a presentation of our new project, if time uh, is enough. So... In the, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals uh, was formulated and agreed upon by 193 countries from all over the world. And 17 goals were set with the aim of eradicating poverty and um, realizing an economic transformation. And these goals cannot be achieved all at once, uh, but most of them can be achieved with very minimal trade-offs uh, and no matter how strange it seems but the answer is permaculture permaculture uh, is a syn synthesis of many disciplines including agroecology organic agriculture biointensive and appropriate technology and it is design system for sustainable food production and habitats linking ecology culture economics and society to, uh, to sustain agricultural productivity and biodiversity, promoting viable farming and cities' communities. And it is so paradoxically simple how permaculture can affect uh, different groups of the globe. For example, for general, uh, for rich and the abundant, it, it provides income and decreased catch costs. Uh, permaculture activities can lower uh, the rates of um, urban rural migration. Uh, diversified cropping system mitigates risk uh, of crop failure. Um, some ecological um, goals. Uh, permaculture reduces the pollination of water and soils, provides an al alternative sources of energy and in integrated farms. Um, Permaculture practices mitigate climate change and help farms become resilient to extreme weather patterns and events. And finally, economic and social goals. Uh, it reduces inequalities because, because of steady income of, you know, from sustainable practices. Mm -hmm. According to United, United Nations data, for example, small scale Scale farmers in Africa have used their agroecology to more than double crop yields within three to ten years of implementation. And in the end, uh, we are all witnesses today how permaculture helps to create strong institution and partnership for the goals. So you can see uh, that every benefits of permaculture in the end affect the economy and economic ecosystem um, and almost all of the or maybe all benefits we can calculate and express in the money um, permaculture programs can be more 
multifunctional uh, than typical agricultural development and educational programs. This is important uh, given to growing call for triple or even more win uh, solution uh, for agriculture, economy, health, environmental and other things. So in order to give this program a chance, we have to prove the effectiveness of permaculture decisions. So <clears throat> what exactly we need to prove why and how? Uh, this is the main question that we have to discover in classes, as I see it. Uh, and the, um, the most important, uh, in my opinion, is disco discover and describe ecosystem which supported by permacultural solution and identify and evaluate the potential ec ecological and economic benefits of implementing green solution uh, in urban environmentals. So, how to achieve all this? The way I see consists of uh, three main parts and components in, in education program. Uh, there are three models, uh, including lecture and seminars, additional seminars from a light organization, and practice uh, with the light organization. Um, the first model uh, is more theoretical. Um, it is introducing to the basic concept of sustainable development, permaculture, the interrelation and strategies for the global nation. For example, the original organization, different types of trusts, uh, village development and other. Um, practical cases will focus it on ELD, uh, Economic of Land Degradation Initiative um, 6 plus, plus 1 approach to identify, analyze, and solve uh, the environmental problem. Um, it will be considering uh, such um, term, um, concept uh, as stakeholders, uh, their analysis and involvement into decision-making process. Uh, independent work will be given for students um, as um, essay related to this um, uh, concept and others such as holistic management, permaculture, social economics, permaculture finance, and other. And control is uh, as discussion of these topics. Uh, the second module will clarify a definition of ecosystem services. Mm, we will look at the, uh, the services supported by permaculture decision in rural and urban spaces, um, most of the second. Um, most of the work with students will be conducted as seminars, and um, I hope that we will, uh, I'm sure that we will uh, look at real existing projects um, from our life and um, we'll make uh, the ecological and economic uh, assessment. Uh, the control um, is discussing a case um, based um, on existing one uh, or uh, some uh, case studies that uh, will be planned for the uh, third module um, with using the knowledge of the first and the second model. The name steps are uh, analysis, situation analysis, service types, their uh, role in evaluation, uh, three types of scenario and implementation plan. So <clears throat> I want uh, students to understand that evaluation not always straight and direct and uh, that we can use different methods to find out the real price of something. For example, uh, we can describe um, retention water capacity as water accumulation functions as uh, the price or cost of uh, artificial person. So we can find a different level of permaculture solution uh, in urban spaces, um, especially those densely populated such Kharkiv or Kyiv. Um, the first level is country or city that includes a huge industrial zones, some abandoned roads, uh, parks uh, near hospital and institution. Um, the second is local level, uh, some kind of interest group uh, with uh, 
territory near the house, buildings, uh, mm -hmm. rooftops, uh, probably business centers. And the last, um, the smallest level is personal, our windows, balconies, apartments, and so on. Mm -hmm. Uh, I see my seminars, uh, something like considering some um, simple cases from our life. We, uh, for example, which is better, lawn or back guard, uh, backyard garden? Uh, fortunately, uh, we can find some information about this. Um, or, for example, asking simple question, how much does it cost? Uh, we can say that this is a simple uh, figures. Um, price of water, water consumption, uh, the average rate of watering, uh, or for example, prices for seedlings or price uh, for flower. It uh, all can be calculated. And um, why, is, why this is important? Uh, I think that we don't know uh, where students will be work uh, after university university and maybe someone will find their place in some city administration or something like this and uh, because of uh, all this uh, they can consider at least an alternative some solution or accept even accept them um, for example this is the center of Kharkiv um, the center of center of Kharkiv and um, this is flower um, but and uh, it's hardly possible to call it beautiful. I'm sure you agree, will agree with me. And um, this area is about 80 square meters, and uh, the uh, the height uh, uh, of uh, um, these letters is three or even four meters. Um, about 20,000 flowers uh, were used to create this flower back. And uh, if we um, uh, look at the price, uh, one flower, oh, see, uh, one, uh, 20 hryvnias. So <coughs> we can see what huge amount for this. I'm not sure that in uh, permaculture scale it will be a high level. Um, Besides, this flower bed uh, was damaged three times during summer, so you can double it more <laughs> uh, this cost. Um, the next part of work with students is it's, uh, to present and um, this uh, decision-making framework and apply in practice. Um, to understand all the benefits from uh, improved uh, um, productivity of such uh, options, different options. It can be looked something like this. We have uh, the same building's wall and three different uh, options um, um, for realization. Um, Nothing changed the first photo. Uh, the second photo, uh, we, can see, we can say that it brings just uh, aesthetical benefits, probably. And uh, at this uh, third photo, uh, it's project um, Green Belly. We can see that um, social, ecological, and economical benefits are present. So... Hmm. Initiative teams are already collecting um, materials that can become more, um, can be a basis for students and not only uh, students' work. Um, this is a result of a research um, Kharkiv team called uh, the name uh, The Other Way. Um, this is beautiful and talented girls who have already offered the Kharkiv Green Net uh, that plan to connect uh, connected all green public and industrial zones in Kharkiv, you can see. Um, and the main uh, aims uh, of this are sustainable, uh, sustainable development, mobility and adaptation to climate change. Um, 
this is example of Kyiv Eco Club Greenway. They collect data about the quality of green areas in the city and um, what can uh, they should be. And uh, we may compare it with real situation and use it for um, our case study, for example. The reason I'm excited uh, about ecosystem services is considering the cost of the usual and everyday things, uh, we can change the attitude for them forever. For example, do you know how much is a fine uh, for damage uh, of green pollination? It's uh, not a big amount. Um, you can see it on the slide. And uh, what will be if we try to calculate all of um, benefits and all of cost the green one tree as uh, New York City uh, has done? Um, we can uh, edit the price of seedling, uh, a care for tree until it grows up, and loss environmental services. Um, I take uh, from uh, the HSL. Uh, site, website and uh, we, we can um, see that uh, the price and uh, a fine can be um, bigger in 10 or 100 time. So, um, we can calculate other losses, uh, and this calculation can be used for estimate ecological services provided by each of the elements, uh, by mass ground cover uh, increasing biodiversity. We can use it for, um, for example, for estimate um, quality of uh, permaculture centers or ecovillages, um, something like this. Um, <coughs> Some calculations have already not done, and um, we can use them. Uh, so objectives, uh, the main objective of uh, second model is assessment of ecosystem services in urban spaces with the student. And as a result, it should be collecting, uh, collect, um, collecting the material for further uh, research. And, uh, we have to write our own fascinating facts. So, um, the last, finally, the last module um, is a practice with Elliot organization. It involves preparing for um, or participating in a real project. Uh, it can be done in two ways, as I see it, writing an application to the contest or justification of the project um, for further implementation um, with the aim of permaculturization, is it possible to say? <laughs> uh, or the second way is uh, direct, um, part direct participation in uh, some project with uh, Lion organization. Um, students uh, choose uh, their role, as I see it, independently, but with the agreement of teacher, according to their uh, talents and abilities. Um, I think that um, they have a right to choose, uh, does they want to um, be a manager, project manager in uh, this case, studying this project, or designers, or some, someone else. Mm. So who is a light organization? Uh, this is all organization as, uh, who make differences in urban and rural spaces, who applied permaculture or alternative uh, techniques, who need their followers, worker, workers, volunteers, friends, and like-minded people. Uh, I have presented here uh, those organizations who uh, have already helped um, us with uh, with our projects, and uh, if you want someone to offer or offer yourselves, so please feel free. Um, um, one of the projects that have already been implemented is Garden When Everyone Is At Home. Uh, this is an imitation of the backyard garden, which we embodied um, to the landscape designers uh, contest 
this year and um, there are um, over 50 species um, and 98% of which was edible and uh, this garden will be moved to the territory of the university uh, from botanic gardens so uh, it can be the basis for student um, education uh, ecology permaculture and um, economic uh, calculation as well so i think uh, this is all uh, as my permaculture home say, <laughs> what is said here is not only arguable but highly contestable. So this is all about uh, the disciplines. And if I have uh, a few minutes... Yes, yes, of course. I um, think that it's very important to have some feedback on this great presentation. So any questions? Uh, no. Uh, so uh, I will be appreciate, uh, appreciated for bits of advice and comments, uh, so it will be for this. Um, and I want to present uh, an, our new project, uh, this joint project of two organizations, uh, Primaculture and Ukraine, uh, that you know very well, Pavlo Ordanov is the head of organization. Uh, and the second is... Um, Mm, gardeners and designers club uh, this is exactly that um, um, graduates uh, uh, graduates, graduates uh, from 2017 course um, so uh, this project will be quite special from different points of view uh, because our object is um, psychiatric uh, hospital or uh, probably um, um, mental uh, asylum. Mm. There are um, 120 residents in asylum, and a high proportion of them uh, with mental illness, uh, other other than dementia. Uh, this is um, you can see. I don't know. Is it uh, in the top of the photo? This is the territory of uh, this asylum. And uh, in the bottom is monastery. <laughs> so um, neighbors, uh, a little bit strange. But, um, and uh, in the, this photo, this is exactly asylum, uh, this building. So we want um, design um, to design this territory is about. Uh, one uh, and a half hectares in general and uh, 500 uh, square meters um, uh, this um, inner courtyard mm. and uh, we want to include mental health care and therapy for residents into permaculture design uh, some synthesis of permaculture design, therapeutic landscapes, and gardener therapy. And um, after visiting that, uh, this place, uh, we have already may say uh, what elements uh, should or might be here. Um, for example, uh, back to our simple question, um, uh, this wall, uh, the wall, um, it cannot be changed because it is protected as a historical monument. So uh, the best decision I see is to uh, build, uh, to create a here barefoot walking uh, sensation pod, uh, especially um, taking, uh, into, taking account. into account that um, the, the most of residents walking uh, all the day here. So it'd be real therapeutic effect. Um, Next, uh, uh, this is a real situation, not really good, uh, but um, we can propose uh, uh, to transfer it into compost pile or um, in the bed, directly in the bed to use it. Mm. The therapeutic landscape, in, there is something about the wetness power and uh, majesty in nature that can comfort you. Um, 
whether it's simply walking or gardening. Um, no matter, it, uh, it will be um, a good natural uh, antidote for um, emotional distress. Um, the environment um, is a resource. Uh, you, you can read it, and uh, the main task uh, for, um, for bodily oriented, oriented landscape practices are the achievement of human readaptation uh, to the natural environmental and um, conditionally divided um, into two large uh, classes. Um, I'm sorry, uh, the achievement of, of human readaptation and uh, the second um, uh, main task is overcoming uh, of illness mental um, states. And uh, it can be achieved by two um, large uh, classes of uh, practice is uh, contemplative or methods of staying been in the environments and uh, the second is active or some methods of interaction uh, with the environmental and um, we have taken into account that um, mm, residents have already some kind of work therapy uh, but we can create absolutely different by their effect zones uh, for rest and work uh, some common and individual spaces uh, for example uh, landscape for kinest uh, kinesthetic um, they perceive uh, the um, world through contact uh, so um, and sensation so that is why um, they need something something simple calm and uh, home like comfortable zones um, for example, the landscape for auditory type of um, people, uh, it's about sound uh, around them, so uh, we need to um, um, drive the attention. The, the procedure, um, invite. invite both in our Thank you. Uh, in our gardens, so uh, different uh, feeders, uh, drinkers, and uh, houses for birds uh, will be um, good. Uh, and other landscape for visuals, um, they prefer to be in a um, recreation area, especially um, if it's furnished with uh, some different uh, cute things and decorated. And um, the last part is landscape design for elderly and disabled um, people. Mm. So uh, this project can be an excellent place to refine knowledge for students too. Uh, they may te test themselves uh, as designers or gardeners or um, other roles. Uh, so I'm, I understand that this place is uh, asylum, not hospital, but I really hope that uh, we can turn it into a healing place. Mm, so if you want to participate or have any ideas or advice or know, know someone who, who will be glad to help or the information, please contact me. That's all. Thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, please, now it's the time for a couple of questions. Anyone? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Uh, it was a really, very, very nice, very interesting presentation. Uh, I myself interested in uh, several parts of the next time. Uh, I just have a question. That uh, the education program that you have mentioned uh, has it been launched already, or is it uh, planning? Uh, it's just planning. It is planning. Yes. And what is the name of this education program? Uh, I see. Uh, I see it. Um, I think it will be economic fundamentals of uh, permaculture. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Very simple. <laughs> very simple. Okay. Thank you very much.
Thank you. Any other questions? Maybe me. Uh, yeah, please. Just uh, there were mentioned for for um, uh, institution whatever that uh, they, when they already decided to cooperate with you, the method, dynamic, and uh, the design and uh, craft something. Uh, so how do you um, communicate with those? How many did you ask to? Cooperate with you, and how many they agreed? So, or only why other didn't uh, say yes to your project? And if you understand, do you understand the, my question? Um, like you said, that it would be if somebody from us is interested mm -hmm. in cooperating. You said yes, but how do you communicate your idea, your idea more further than here, and how many did you ask already, and how many did uh, say no? or the question is, what do you offer them, or how do you want them to be your friend? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, Businesses or maybe another, um, not politicians, but uh, not to say the local, the local people, authorities, etc. What is your how do you come to them and what do you say? And you say this is the um, The first part. <laughs> um, when we um, begin to preparing uh, some project, uh, we make uh, a page in Facebook, and uh, the biggest part of our, our com communication is a social uh, net network um, and um, the Pavlos uh, contacts. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll communicate. Uh, well, we are, I, I, I think that, uh, yeah, I, I, I can add that. Maybe we try to uh, organize a framework for our designers, our activists to present the project to find collaborators. So recently we started to organize national convergences and we uh, tried to make it really topical. So for example, last year it was about uh, agriculture. So it was a research and practice conference and I hope that someone could find the contact. This year it will be in the University of Ukraine in February and it will be about urban permaculture and uh, hope Hopefully, we will have a lot of interested organizations, so they can present, they can collaborate. Um, and this conference is the example. Uh, this conference uh, itself also... Uh, an example, an example of, of such communication. And I know that... Uh, uh, when Valentina start um, to communication with um, local authorities, uh, can you um, describe something? Uh, can you tell us about your experience with local authorities? How do you try to organize and organize the structures? Even though it's not official, if you can say it. Okay, let's take a short break, and then we'll move on to the економічно вигідно. Любий, е, любий регіон має план розвитку е, диктований з Києва, в, о, переданий на області і на райони. По адміністративній решітці з нього треба вписатися. Це цілком можливо, вони там гинуть. So we, we just need to uh, know what uh, these officials are interested about. So what are uh, their plans? What are their requirements? Because they need to fulfill uh, some requirements. And if we offer them uh, appealing solutions, uh, so they may become our partners. Because there is so many choices. <laughs> 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 Thank you. I ask because for me it's also a question how to find somebody to cooperate. Uh, I have the same question for myself. I don't know. So I want I don't know how you so now I don't know how to continue. I know that uh, in Ukraine in Kiev especially is not so uh, big uh, auditory of um, someone who 
is uh, interested in permaculture ecology so we know each other uh, we all know each other and help each other so something so any contacts with the agreement? <laughs> І вони є нагальні зараз дуже в Україні, тому що наш народ, як казала колись Леся Українка, писала, що на поділі хліб на кіни, ковбаса не тим городить. Оце це є опер, що коли земля є така була благословенна, мені всі пермокультурні ідеї можна втілювати в приватне господарство. Чому сьогодні, наприклад, немає вас тут, я просто так спеціально випадково до вас потрапила, немає представників таких великих винищих екопоселень. А скільки їх у нас є? Два навіть, у нас від двох екопоселень. Давайте ми все ж таки це перенесемо більше в дискусію, у нас зараз обідня перерва. So I propose that now we move to the coffee break. So the comment was that we need to establish more connections with agrarian academies, with eco-villages and 